Hey guys, so today I just want to make a quick little video here talking a little bit with you guys. So um, I'm gonna take this drink here and have some, uh, it's called Monster Energy. I'm not sure if you have this in the States. I do know that you have like Mountain Dew and it's like, uh, it's awesome. But do you have Monster Energy? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you have, uh, I don't think you have, but I'm kind of sure what kind of country this is from, but this one is very, very good, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Oh yeah, you get energy from this, I need some. Okay, so, in this video I just want to talk a little bit about my Mac experience. And my first uh, Mac purchase, basically, my MacBook Pro that I'm using right now to record this video. Uh, I want to talk about some things that I don't really get, and uh, I'm also going to say that I don't really think I'm going to go full Mac boy. You know, I don't think my main computer out there, my Windows PC, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go ahead and switch fully to an iMac. I don't think I'm going to do it after now I've been using my MacBook Pro for, it could be around a month right now. Uh, m many of my new videos have been edited on this Mac and it's awesome, but there's some things I want to quickly cover here. Uh, some things you might want to know about a Mac computer uh, and one thing I don't really get versus a PC, why this would be better on a Mac. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and cover here is um, you know, when you have a lot of apps running at the same time uh, versus a Windows PC that has a lot of apps or programs running at the same time, it feels like it's so much easier on a Windows PC to see what kind of apps you have it open up and it feels like it's easier to close because you can immediately use on a Windows PC, drop down and see what kind of apps you have open up in the background uh, or have you can see all of the apps you have running at the moment down there, okay? Uh, on a Mac, sure, you can see what kind of apps you have open up in, in the background, but you can also see a lot of apps that you don't have running up in the background, but there's just some quick shortcuts. So, some people might prefer this. Uh, I'm not really sure if I do prefer it, but because it feels like on my Windows machine, I can easily see what kind of programs I, I want to have open up, and if I want to close something, I see it immediately. Right now, I need to go ahead and view at my dock, and I see I have a ton of apps that's not open up, and then I need to look at you know what kind of uh, programs that slide by checking down there. You can see a spotlight, uh, you know, uh, down there, and you can see that that you're running this at the moment. Uh, it feels like it's a little bit easier. On a, on a Windows PC to remember to close apps. On a Mac, I like I, I rarely close apps. And uh, like if I would uh, go with a cheap Mac, like a MacBook Air or something, uh, then that could probably make my performance using the Mac uh, a little bit harder. I mean, like it feels like it's a little bit easier on a Windows PC. And sure, I mean, on a Windows PC, you don't get those shortcuts immediately to apps, uh, but you can go ahead and, and place them in the taskbar down there. You can you can create like shortcuts. Uh, and the good thing with the Windows PC over there is that it takes up way less uh, screen, you know, screen, screen space. I know you can make the dock smaller, uh, but still, it's, it's a big dock that still takes up uh, a lot of space, you know, that uh, if, if you want if you want to hide it, I'm not really sure if we can hide a dock, uh, but it just feels like it's, it's a little bit easier, uh, and, you know, on, on a Windows PC, whenever I open up a program, I always use, uh, use click on the start button, and then you just immediately type for whatever app you now want to open up, because you have a wonderful search over there. It just feels like it's a little bit easier over here, I mean, like, when I'm in my Mac, I can't see a quick search uh, to all my apps. Uh, I can't see a quick search. Uh, th I think you can search for in like documents and stuff. You can easily search for documents and stuff like that. But it feels like it's a little bit easier, you know. So that's the first thing. It may not be a big thing. I mean, it, it's totally up to you what you prefer. Also, you should know that on 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 a Windows machine, you can also go ahead and say, have a doc like this. Uh, you just download from the internet. Now, the second thing I want to talk about pretty quick here, and it's been a major issue with my Mac, even though it might not be a huge uh, issue like that, and uh, it's been that sometimes uh, apps freeze up. 
like, uh, and this is not just random apps, I mean, I download Keys, uh, that Samsung app for my Mac, and it really seems to handle the performance very, very poorly. Uh, but it's not just that app that has been, like, making my fans go fully to, like, 6,000 RPMs uh, and, and, you know, heat up the whole uh, computer, but uh, also the default browser you know, on my MacBook Pro has started to freeze up and take it and make the fans really go loud, like 6,000 RPM, and it won't go down. I mean, like, I have to force close Safari. And I think that's kind of like weird because I mean, like Safari is, is the is is the default browser. So why is it you know fucking up that bad? And I mean, like I know I use Google Chrome too on on my Mac, uh, but but I mainly use like I mainly use Safari because it's more optimized when you zoom in and out. Uh, when you zoom in and out like this, I love it. I mean, it's, it's one of the things I use the most on my Mac. Uh, but I mean, like when I do that in Google Chrome on Mac. It's not as smooth, you know, when you go in and out, and that's that's a major killer deal over there for me because I mean, like, the resolution is very good on this Mac. I mean, like, I have a like a 22 inch monitor out there on my Windows PC that has kind of same resolution as this Mac, that it is 15 inch Mac. So when I'm go into forums on my Mac and use Safari and stuff. Usually I zoom in like this, you know, because the screen resolution is so good. I don't really know why I would need a higher screen resolution. Like these new Retina iPad or, or these new Retina Micro Pros, they only have like that Retina because it sounds cool and people are gonna buy it because it's Retina. It sounds awesome, but you really they don't like need it. I I can't see a reason why I would need that. Like sure, 1080p. That 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 I can understand that because it's not like full 1080p display that I'm running it right now. Uh, but Retina that's like twice 1080p or something like that. So pretty pretty crazy. I mean, like I haven't seen that screen in in real life. But uh, I'm really not sure why you would need that because I've, I think it's still awesome right now. Uh, but yeah, that that little fan issue. I mean, I've been ha I've been having it multiple times on Safari, like maybe like five times uh, the last month at least. And uh, then I also been having it with the Keys uh, app. And there are probably some other apps that could fuck up when you do it like that. Uh, and also something that you should remember about these Macs is that the fans uh, go kind of loud like w once you start to edit videos and things like that they go like full power like 6000 RPMs and then it could take like uh, like uh, 5 to like 10 or like 15 minutes for the fans to cool down like w once you start to do a uh, little bit less resource heavy things. Uh, one thing that's kind of fun on Max also is that flash is so horrible. It can make the fans go so much louder. And uh, also one thing is like gaming. I mean, like gaming would make your fans go crazy on this lappy. I haven't even tried it, but I mean, I, I tried Google in, in the Google Chrome browser. I tried like Angry Birds in the in the, in the web version. And even that game made the fans go like crazy, and that's that's, pr that's pretty intense. Uh, but I mean, that's of course surfing and, and do simple tasks like that. I think like Windows PCs is so good for it; it's so much better because uh, they can handle it better. They handle Flash better or Flash, yeah, Flash. And you people that say that no one's using Flash, like YouTube is using Flash. And YouTube is like one of the biggest websites ever. And like I've been getting 13 million views kind of ish from people that's been viewing my videos in a Flash, uh, Flash plugin, you know? So Flash is still a major, major, major deal. And it's just so, it's so nice. Like when I go to my Windows PC, Flash runs awesome on YouTube. I think that, I mean, Flash is such a big thing in my life. Like, a lot of videos on YouTube, or, I mean, like, a lot of videos online is in Flash. I mean, sure, they're going to HTML5, but Flash is still a, a big, nice thing. Uh, so, I mean, like, yeah, the reason why most people, like, buy Macs is usually because they do, like, video editing, or they do some kind of maybe programming, or they may do some other kind of like audio, like the mixing and stuff like that. If you do those things, Macs are awesome. But like if you're furious a normal guy, I don't really see a reason why you would would pick up a Mac. I mean, sure, 
it, it looks great and all that, but I mean, like gaming, it's it's probably kind of. I mean, you can get it better on Windows. Like, don't buy Mac if you wanna, if you wanna play games. Don't buy Mac if you just wanna surf around a little bit. Don't do it. I mean, like, it, it's not worth it. Okay. Uh, if you're just really horny into the design and all that, go ahead and buy it. Or you know, if you do programming or if you do video editing, video editing is really like awesome. I think it's it's so awesome to do this kind of heavy video editing on my Mac, and uh, that's one of the main reasons why I bought it. Like I think I've been getting, been gaining like one hundred subscribers just because my videos have been looked a little bit more professional. So for me, a Mac has been worth it. Like uh, th these things, I can do videos like this. I have a built-in webcam. I didn't even think about that in the beginning, but I mean, it makes the the video look a little bit more uh, more engaging. You know, that like the, you have you have a face to watch at, and it's it's a little bit more fun. You know, so it, it kind of like nice that you get a pretty good uh, built-in FaceTime camera there. But overall, I mean, like this is a work computer. Okay, if, if you ask me. It's not just it's not for that kind of normal guy, uh, but uh, sure it, it looks great. And if you're really horny to the design, you can also go ahead and buy a Mac because I mean you, you won't be disappointed with that. But if 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 she's gonna do normal stuff like uh, surfing, you know, check check some email stuff, Max isn't isn't really for you. Okay, Max ain't nothing for you. Uh, but yeah, some, some quick thoughts there, some some quick things. I mean, really, it's not, not like major things like that. I mean, I haven't had a, like an extremely big problem with my Mac, so that's kind of nice. That, that's, that's very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, a quick, 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 quick little video here. Just going to round up by saying I'm not going to throw eggs at my MacBook Pro. I love it too much. Bye-bye.